Hey guys, welcome back to another Movie Buzzer, and on today's episode, we are going to review the Marvel's What If on Disney+. Plus. Um, so I'm going to give it a few minutes for people to come into the stream, um, and I'm going to tell you, you know, going into this, I was actually not looking forward to What If. Um, a lot of things. Um, I actually, we'll, we'll start at the beginning. I, I had a few what if uh, comic books back in the day. Uh, they were, of course, I was a big Spider Man fan, so therefore I had the Spider Man ones. Like, what if he didn't marry Mary Jane? What if he didn't marry Black Cat instead? And what if he kept his cosmic powers? Those were some of the ones that I ended up having. Um, so, those are the only kind of what ifs. I do like sometimes a what if story because what if you made, you know, a different decision that, you know, changed your entire um, life and, you know, the whole direction of everything. So, therefore, I'm all right with that. Um, so, but the, what got me about this what if was the fact that it was going to be animated. And I, you know, I'm an older guy, you know, older guy now. I loved animation back then, but, you know, not so much now. So, I'm like, it's hard for me to get into the animated anything animated but I've, I've actually learned to start actually watching some anime stuff uh and animated stuff um i watched the new he-man um which i ended up enjoy you know somewhat enjoying um and then i um i'm currently watching demon slayer uh an anime with my daughter um because you know i told her i'd watch one of one of her animes with her and that was the one that we chose and we're watching um so I was like, well, I'll give What If a chance. Um, the thing was with What If, it wasn't, you know, at first I was like, it ain't even going to be canon or anything. It's just basically be one-off stories. Um, and then it was told that, you know, it was going to be, that it was going to be connected, that it was going to be in a larger um, in part of the MCU. And that it was going to be kind of like a Legends of Tomorrow in a ways where, there, you know, there's a group and they're going through the multiverse. That's not what we got in this fucking first episode. That is fucking not what we got. This first episode basically um, is a one-off to me. You know, is how it played out. You know, it's just basically the watcher. He's, he's watching and everything. I got a feeling by the end of the series, then I think what we've seen like in this episode, at the end of this episode, will pay off in the in the, like the end. And that we will have this maybe going forward. So is it possible that we could have, um, I can't think of her name right now, the girl that plays Peggy Carter in the actual MCU. Will she actually show up in live action as Captain Britain? You know, or I forgot. I think that's what it is. I, I can't, I can't think of what her character name is right now, but will she show up there? Um, but as I watched it, like I said, it was a one-off episode. It was a cartoon. But I'm going to tell you straight out right now, that animation is so fucking clean in this. The, the animation is fucking fantastic. They did a great job on that. And then the voice acting was great as well in this. Um, I was actually entertained with it. I really was, um, to be honest with you. Yeah, it was a big rehash of, of course, Captain America First Avenger. Uh, basically, what would happen if she was it? I mean, it's not going to... There were some changes, you know, we don't get Bucky as, you know, Winter Soldier where his arms off and everything. So, you know, it changes. One thing changes everything. It's the butterfly effect. Um, I didn't, I don't know if I felt, I didn't really care for the Steve Rogers being basically the first Iron Man in this. Um, I wasn't too thrilled with that part of it. Um, but the thing was, it was fine. You know, it was kind of, it made it like he was like Iron Giant in ways. Um, but I thought it was entertaining. I really did. And I think the animation is what really sold me on it. It was the fact of how good that was going through it. And then, like I said, the voice acting. Um, it looked all right. I was I was entertained with it. So I definitely give it a pass. Um, I will check out the next couple, of course, as it goes on. Um, so we'll go from there. Um, if you're coming into the, you know, if you're watching the stream live, uh, by all means, comment. Let me know what you guys think of it. Did you like it? 
I really want to know what you guys think. Leave it, like I said, in the box uh, so we can talk about it. If there's something else you want to talk about, we can talk about that. Um, I haven't watched Stargirl Season 2 yet, or and I haven't watched the last, the newest episode of Superman yet. Those are my two got to watch in the next couple of days. Um, I started with What If because it was um, I wanted to actually get my thoughts on What If because normally I do – um, before every Marvel series, I do a preview the week before it releases on what I think the series is going to be. And I didn't do that with what if, um, and my plan is now to go forward with like reviews. I am going to basically do live streams with those and do, you know, basically a review off of a live stream. I think that's that works better for me. I liked how I did it with Suicide Squad. And then, of course, I'm doing it now with this one. Um, but like I said, I'm, I actually enjoyed it. I thought it was great. Um, kind of want to see where they go with it. I still I, – so my belief right now, if they're saying that this is connected to the MCU, that they're going to put them all at the end in together, all these characters that they're doing these what-ifs on. So we'll have – a Captain Peggy Carter, and we'll have like um, T'Challa as you know, as the Star Lord, and all that, and all of them at the end of this series. And maybe that's where we get where it connects somehow. Maybe that's how it leads into maybe them alive versions of them in the multiverse, you know. Um, maybe they'll all show up in Multiverse of Madness. But I guarantee you, I wouldn't doubt that this is all connected to um, the Multiverse of Madness, the Doctor Strange movie, that everything that's happening in this, and of course what happened at the end of Loki, that that's where we're going with this. I, I really, really, really got – I feel if they're saying it's connected, that's what it is because this – like I said, this episode felt like a one-off to me. It was like, okay, this is the story of what happened if she took it instead, you know, and how he – and then how the Watcher – book ended you know you know he was the narrator at the beginning narrator at the end and you know basically saying he's watching and he and he can never interfere maybe he interferes at the end i don't know uh let me know what you guys think leave it in the comments uh so that way we can get talking about this i really want to know what you guys think give me just a second here Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be interesting. Um, like I said, the animation is fucking clean. I wish I would have had this kind of fucking animation growing up. Um, I mean, granted I had, we had decent animation. I mean, I had He-Man, which was okay. We had Ninja Turtles, uh, Thundercats, Silverhawks. Um, and then of course I got be- a little bit better when we got to the nineties with X-Men and Spider-Man and stuff. Um, but yeah, I wish I still had this animation back then, but yeah, well, it is what it is. So kids nowadays will get this animation, so maybe they'll like it because I can't. I, I would wonder what it would be like growing up as a you know teenager through like all the Marvel movies, all these MCU movies, um, with Iron Man and everything coming out in 07, How that would have been, you know. Because I'm older, so therefore, and then you get all these. You had all these other animated series that, from the Mighty Avengers, uh, Spectacular Spider-Man, the Ultimate Spider-Man, all those. Because uh, I've watched Ultimate, I have, and I wa- watched uh, most of Spectacular, um, which of course that was a fantastic cartoon for Spider-Man. But now they got all these weird ones. Um, but like I said, animation was clean in this. I liked it. Um, Really want to know what you guys think. I wish comments would happen so that way I can have a little bit more to talk about. I feel like I'm just repeating myself, repeating myself. Um, I did release my um, my top ten of the DCU uh, video today. If you haven't checked that out, by all means, please check it out. If you're not subscribed, by all means, subscribe to the channel, guys. Uh, very much appreciate it. Um, I like keep doing the content. I like being here and talking about basically how I feel about this shit like this. Um, like I said, I just, just got done watching it. So, um, 
but I had already done planned. I was going to do a live video eventually on it. So um, just want to know what you guys think and everything. Just like I said, leave me a comment. We'll get, get, get a conversation going and we'll go from there. And then Joy, thank you so much, sir, for the super chat there. I very much appreciate that. Uh, howdy, Chris. I thought what if was fine. So you just thought it was fine. You, you know, you weren't like over the moon for it or anything like that. That's kind of, kind of, I guess, the way it was. I was too. Like I said, I'm not a big, you know, animated fan. But the thing was, the animation was so fucking clean in this. And I enjoyed the animation so much that it actually kept me very much interested in watching it um, and keep finishing it. Um, I wasn't on my phone the entire time or anything like that, and uh, it was fine. I, I want to see where they progress. I really do. And I, like I said earlier in the stream, I really think that the way this one ended with her showing up at the like at the beginning of the Avengers movie, that is all that is going to lead into something that happens maybe in the final episode or something like that. I think they're going to bring all these other characters, all these alternate characters, reality variant that's what they call them in this variant characters in one episode and then they're going to be in maybe the multiverse of madness that's just my belief right now um ninja yes the animation was great but the story overall was just okay that's because it was a rehash of the captain america first avenger movie and and i can understand that because even me myself that's not one of my favorite movies of the mcu um i wasn't a big fan of captain america the first avenger it was an all right movie it was it was okay it's just not one of them that i go back and i watch so for it to be like a rehash of it i can understand um red supra comes in as soon as it decides it wants to click for me a uh, little off topic but would you like to see a air cut of suicide squad hadn't seen what if as of yet well to get to your what if real quick Definitely give it a watch. You know, get your own opinion of it. See how you feel about it. Like I said, I didn't know if I was going to watch it because it'd be an animated, but I did. I gave it a shot, um, mostly because, like I said, I watched I watched He Man. It was all right, and I'm currently watching Demon Slayer with my daughter. So, um, I'm just giving animated animations a little bit more of a go right now. But as far as the air cut for Suicide Squad, I don't care for. I don't need to see that. I got a an extended cut already that has too much Joker as is in that movie because that is one of my biggest problems with the the 2016 Suicide Squad. You take the you take the Joker out of that movie. Maybe just have that one scene maybe where um he's breaking out or or he creates Harley. Just that one maybe. Um and you take that out and you, you you know it's hard to get over the bad cgi of the brother of enchantress and then her doing her stupid little moves and everything they had kept her the original look of the enchantress that she was at the, you know before you know her brother must you know shared the heart thing with her um if they had kept that version of enchantress that would have been better <sighs> There's part, like I said, if they had gotten rid of those, I think the movie would be a lot better than what it was. Yes, it still has its problems, but actually, I like Harley better in that movie because it's to me she's more Harley. I like Will Smith's character; he has a lot of depth and a lot of heart in that movie. Um, Rick Flag, mm, all right, and then like I said, even Captain Boomerang, Jake Jai Courtney is fucking horrible in almost every movie he's in, and yet. That was probably the one movie that he was actually pretty damn good in, um, especially when he, at the bar scene where he takes off. That was pretty cool. That was funny. Um, but no, I, I really don't want to see an air cut um, only because it's just too much. I think it'd be too much more Joker and we don't need that. I, I, I'm not a fan of Jared Letter's Joker, which is a lot of people. A lot of people are not a fan of it. Um, just leave it the way it is. You know, it is what it is on that. Um, Andrew has a lot. I'm sorry if I, I'm just going to call it say Andrew because I'm horrible at pronouncing. Um, I saw in a TV spot for what if Steve is still Captain America and Tony is Iron Man. Maybe we will see the timeline. We already know. 
I, that's why I, and that's kind of what I said at the beginning of the stream. I think what they're doing is how this episode felt like a one off. But the way it ended where she showed up at like the beginning of the Avenger, you know, the first Avenger movie, I got a feeling they're going to all come together at the very last episode. And it's all going to lead into Multiverse of Madness. Um, all these variants that are happening since, you know, what because of what happened at the end of Loki. So we might actually see like Peggy Carter as, you know, as the captain in Multiverse of Madness. We might actually see the live action version of that. So I because they did say it was going to be interconnected and that it was going to be connected to the MCU. So that's that's one way I can see them doing it. Um, Ninjoy says, have you seen the first episode of Stargirl Season 2 yet? It came out yesterday. I said that earlier. Um, I haven't watched Stargirl yet, and I haven't watched Superman yet. Um, I just got to What If Tonight um, because with work, family, you know, all that comes first. I don't actually sit down and watch anything until – usually until everybody's in bed. You know, occasionally we'll – you know, me and my wife or the, or the kids will watch something together. Um, like for when we're having dinner and stuff, or right after dinner, uh, up until they go to bed. But um, usually, I don't even sit in front of a TV until um, later in the day, just because um, I just have so much other stuff I'm doing. Even on my days off, I, I'd rather when the sun is out, I'm outside doing yard work, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, um, or building something. I, I, I don't settle down and get in front of a TV until um, till then until so when football season starts then on Sundays I'm straight football so um, ISO gang Deshaun Wiggins says hi guys how's it going sir how's very much like to see you here uh, if you got anything you want to ask by all means send it in we'll get right to it um, how'd you feel about what if you know I, I see where a lot of people are kind of back and forth on it um, they're about mediocre about like like Deshaun, uh, he has it as a six point nine out of ten. Uh, I see a lot of people around like five out of tens. It's just because, again, it's a story that we already got with Captain America. It's just it's Peggy Carter instead. That's all. And like I said, it felt like a one off. Now I got a feeling it's going to, like I said, play more at the end of the season where maybe the characters come all together. So Andrew says I think the what if for Spider Man is Peter. Is part of the zombie timeline as S.A. Hunter with Doctor Strange, Doctor Strange's cape. I don't know. I I don't know if that's the um, that one or not. I know they cut the Spider-Man um, episode out of the what if that they were going to do, which was where he became Man Spider, but they said it was too too dark, so they cut it. And I'm like thinking to myself, I'm like. You have a cartoon, and you said it's too dark for Spider-Man, and this, I was like, right, right there is, a, to me, a red flag that, I'm sorry, your Blade and your Deadpool that you want, you guys that want those for rated R, that's not going to happen. If that is too dark, or to go on Disney+, Plus, they're not going to release that stuff on rated R, and especially even after what, like, Suicide Squad and stuff did, so... But I, I would love to fucking see the Man Spider episode because I actually did not mind that storyline in the um, 90s cartoon. Um, Ninja Roy says, what if MCU Spider-Man actually acts like Spider-Man? <laughs> uh, he does. He does in Civil War, Endgame, Infinity War. That's Spider-Man. <laughs> but not so much in his own movies. Um, so that'd be inter actually interesting. Um, Andrew says to dark the nineties, too dark the nineties cartoon had man spider. I know exactly it had, but I guess the way they with the animation, and I, I guess maybe the way they did it, that it was too dark. I guess they did they did a dark story, and they could have probably fixed that. I mean, just him coming a spider don't mean that that's too dark. I mean, shit. Um, I just think they probably wrote a, a really dark story for it. Um, so, but hopefully one day we'll actually get to see that. I'm really hoping that we will see that. Um, 
if you're just joining the stream, guys, but make sure, hey, send a comment. You know, super chats are very, very welcome. Thank you. Uh, if you do send those, um, I like having different topics. Just keep sending them in. We'll keep going and we'll keep talking about it. Uh, I like to know what you guys think about the what if episode as well. Um, Andrew says, any what if episodes you're interested in seeing? The zombie one is probably the highest on the list. I want to see what happens with that. Because, you know, how, like, in this episode, he was, like, he was, like, basically where all she did was choose to not go up, up that mound. That made it where she became, you know, the captain. So, you know, I kind of see, I want to see where, because it's like they're playing those, you know, the storylines that we know. And then that one choice, what, so what fun choice makes us have fucking zombies? I mean, <laughs> if you guys know, if you guys have an idea of what maybe that one is, what that um, instance is where we could have zombies, leave it, uh, leave it in the comments. I want to know what, what you guys think on that. But uh, I would say the zombie one, of course, the Spider-Man one. Like I said, I used to have the Spider-Man what ifs, um, like I said, uh, where he didn't marry Mary Jane, he married Black Cat. What if he had kept his cosmic powers? Which I guess technically we're gonna I'm gonna have something like that in the ways with him being Doctor Strange, uh, or having Doctor Strange's power. So um, those two I think are the only two I know of that I'm really interested in because I wasn't really big on Guardians. Um, I, I am stoked to hear Chadwick Boseman as Black Panther one more time. Or I think in this one he's gonna be Star Lord. Uh, hi Sour, how's it going, sir? Um, Andrew says, I'm surprised the one choice that changed Captain America's timeline was Peggy not going up to the booth. Yeah, that, that was kind of weird. That was, you know, okay, she didn't go up to the booth, so, you know, that made it where he don't become Captain America. You know, that's it's, it's weird on that, I guess. But, hey, butterfly effect, one little fucking thing. I could drop my pen, and it could change my whole fucking life. So, uh, give me a second here, guys. But that goes with anything. I mean, I know there's been, you know, everybody goes through life and say, well, what if I'd have done this instead? Um, you know, especially like if somebody dies or something like that. I hate to get deep like that, but, you know, you know, if you'd have been there instead, what's something of you could you have been there and saved that person? You know, it's kind of it's always like that. You always have that what if. And that's the reason why they have something like this, I guess. Uh, Andrew says not hearing Chris Evans as Steve was odd. That was I did. I was I was trying to listen very well. I was like, that's not Chris Evans, but it was fine. Um, it was weird, but it was fine. I think. Um, then Joyce says this episode could have been so much better if they made Steve the Winter Soldier, and I thought they were. I really did. It, it the way it was playing out at the very beginning. I thought they were going to like, oh, they're going to make Steve the Winter Soldier. And then, no, they made him a fucking Iron Man of all things. Um, and then they didn't even make where Bucky becomes Winter Soldier whatsoever. Oh, I could have lost my arm there. I can get the fuck out of here on that. Like I said, there there was – it's just a rehash. It was just a what if. Um, it could have been – it could have been better. I, I Like I said, I gave it a pass. But I think I'm probably right where um, um, what's his name was on this um, where give me a second where ISO gang where Deshaun was right around I'm thinking about six out of ten um, was what I would probably give this one. <laughs> oh, that's cool. But um. But yeah, I, I was like I said, I'm I'm curious what the next one is. I th I can't even remember what the next one was. Uh, they said the next episode is. Um, I think it's the the, the um, Chadwick Boseman one where he's Star Lord. I think I'm not sure, not positive, but I think that's the next ep next week's episode. I'll I'll definitely continue watching it. Um, like I said, the animation is very clean and I like it so. I'll, I'll definitely keep going with it. Sour comes says Peggy should have picked Steve. <laughs> nice, nice. 
Uh, Andrew says, when Peggy saved Bucky from falling off the train, my mom thought so. Steve, the Winter Soldier, instead. Yeah, because Steve, you know, he she saved Bucky by grabbing his arm. I was like, okay, so he's not going to come Winter Soldier here. And then when Steve died, or looked like he died at that moment, I was like, oh, we're going to make him the Winter Soldier, which, which I thought so. And then it showed you know him still alive, and it just it, they changed the whole ending of of at that point for from the original Captain America. Uh, so that's where it, it definitely went different than the original Captain America movie. But I mean, for the most part, it played just like that movie. And again, I wasn't a big fan of that movie, so therefore, I wasn't real big into this episode. Um, so, but it's still like I said, it was a good episode. I, I actually. Um, enjoyed a little bit of it, so enough to, enough to keep me interested in it, at least for uh, another couple weeks. So we'll see how it goes. Andrew says, so Steve, because uh, became a discount Iron Man. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that's funny. Um, oh, hold on one second, guys. Thought I had to sneeze there for a minute, so I might still have to. So just beware. Um Discount Iron Man, yeah. Basically, it was like, oh, Howard had this whole idea. Oh, I know what to do with that Tesseract, and he builds the Iron. He builds the Iron Man suit. Like it just came to him. Oh, I'll build a suit and call it the the Hydra Stomper. Uh, give me the fucking. And it look, you know, kind of looked like a mixture of the Iron Man suit that he had at the beginning of Iron Man, and it looked like um, and a mixture of that and also um, Iron Monger from the first one, but. I, I I wasn't a fan of that part of it, where Steve was like he was in the Iron Man suit. It, it, it felt like it actually felt like fucking Star Girl for a moment at that point, where she's got you know where he's playing. Um, shit, I can't. It's the Owen brother that plays him. He plays that big. He's in the big robot suit in that in Star Girl. That's exactly what that fucking part reminded me of. I mean, it just really did, um, especially when, and then it's so funny because Stargirl just came back, you know, uh, Andrew says, I found out Steve was, oh, was Josh Keaton, voice of Spider-Man, most spectacular. Oh, okay, so Steve was played by the guy who, who voiced Spider-Man as spectacular Spider-Man. Oh, okay. Okay, that's, that's cool. Um. I did. I I would not have fucking noticed that. I really wanted to have, um, because it's been so long since I watched Spectacular. So, yeah, yeah, that's right, Android Pat, aka Stripes. Yep, you're right. Gotcha. Start. Yep. Start on Stripes. Yep. It it's been. Because actually, I haven't watched. Like I said, I haven't seen Star Girl season two yet. The first episode. I just finished Star Girl. Like last month or the month before, I watched it um, for the first time. I just never got around to watching it, you know, when it first came out. And I remember everybody just praising it. And I finally watched it. And I, I actually loved it. It actually very surprised me. I, it was a great show. So I can't wait for this season two. Um, I, I'll get around to probably watching it either right after the stream or I will end up watching it tomorrow. Um, because I'll, like I said, I also got to watch Superman and Lois too. Um, that's the next to the last episode of the season for that. So definitely gonna watch it. Oh, excuse me. Um, you guys got any more um, questions or anything like that? By all means, just leave it in the um, comments. If you got, any, you want to send in a super chat, that's always very much appreciated. Thank you very much. Also to Ninjoid again for sending one in at the very beginning. Very much appreciate you, sir. Um, but or if y'all have any other what ifs questions or hey what is there maybe a what if story that you would like to see you know hope that maybe they put it in here somewhere uh, maybe for like next season or something like that if you you know or which one are you looking forward to leave it in the box and we'll go over it um, Andrew says I heard episode three will be a murder mystery set during Iron Man two and Thor one. Because I to see Tony as Iron Man 
talking to Nick at the donut shop. And when Thor went to go get the hammer in the rain. Hmm. It, it's going to be weird. I, I'm, I'm kind of curious because we do see where, you know, you got Loki. A scene where, like, you got the Loki, you got Thor, you, you got um, the animation of the first Avengers uh, where it circles around them. So it's going to have a lot to do with what we already seen. But it's going to be just like it, this one was. It was all, everything Captain America's first Captain America all the way up to where she decides not to go up to the boot. And then it changed everything. So I'm wondering, is it going to be like maybe, you know, where it shows all of them, you know, around the circle. And then they make a decision to do something different there that now changes Loki winning or something. I don't know. <laughs> so that's why they're what ifs, you know. Definitely why they're what ifs. I'm going to say, uh, since no one's put one in yet. Um, I'm always going to want a Spider-Man What If episode. Um, I'm I'm going to probably go with that Man Spider one. I, that, I really, after I read that, that's what they were going to do. I would have wanted probably that one. Because that's not something I want to see maybe on this big screen. On live action. But that's something you could throw in like that. I think that, that, that works for him. Um, Andrew says, it's weird the opening... The opening didn't mention what Loki did in the timeline breaking after King died. All that didn't mention what Loki did and did in the timeline breaking after King died. No, it did not. It um it basically based it basically said that he's a watcher over everything that happens in the multiverse and that he does not interfere. And like I said at the beginning of the stream, I'm. I really believe by the end he interferes maybe because of what happened at the end of Loki. Um, maybe it's taken, you know, or I don't know. Maybe, you know, like I said, I, I just have a feeling by the last episode there, it's all going to come together that we're going to get all of this that's, that's happening over these episodes. It's all going to come together because I, I can't imagine it just being one offs because they did say that it was going to be connected. How is it? Con how would this episode be connected to the MCU? Really? I, I would really like to know why and how without you doing an episode where now she shows up, you know, and I, I still I'm going to say it's going to be a multiverse of madness. I really do. I think we might get Peggy Carter in. As you know, the captain in Multiverse of Madness. I really think so. So, I mean, do you guys think so? Leave it in the comments. Let me know. I really want to know. Um, I am going to go ahead and say, in uh, I'm going <clears> to <throat> shut down in ten minutes. Um, so that way I can probably go watch one of the shows uh, before I go to bed for the night and have to get up in the morning work. Uh, so yes, definitely send in any questions you guys have, any you know super chats, anything that you guys have. Let me know what you guys think. Um, we'll go over it real quick and everything. I'm um, definitely, but I was all right with it. I was all right with it, and I think it's going to be interesting to see where this goes. Because um, it's all, I think it's also going to depend on how, like the next episode ends. You know, I could be totally fucking wrong. I really could be. I could be way off. And because here we go. I don't want to go into the whole WandaVision thing. Where that bug on the wall. That's my fist. So, you know, I ain't going to go that fucking far. That's for damn sure. Um, where people are reading too much into it. People are doing that even with Loki. And I don't think nobody's going to really do that with this. This, I don't think this. Excuse me. I don't think this series is going to be like what the other three were. Everybody was talking so much about the last three. This is, you know, with this being animated, I can't really say that that's going to be, it is, you know, it's going to be like that. I think we're going to not, no one's going to talk about shit until Hawkeye hits. When Hawkeye hits, oh my God, I can't wait for that fucking show, actually. Um, and that's only because I can't wait to see uh, Haley Steinfeld as you know, as the young Hawkeye, and then also we get um, oh, 
fuck, I can't think of her, her name. Yelena Belov or something like that that plays um, Black Widow's sister and Black Widow. <sighs> Having her in there and basically her after the other one, you know, after Hawkeye. And I just, that, that right there is what I'm looking forward to. I can't wait to see what the hell that goes. Uh, Andrew says it's going to be tricky getting used to Steve not being Captain America and Peggy is. Um, I don't think it's going to be permanent. Like I said, I think, you know, you had this episode and then if they do it a multiverse, we might have her come in as this new captain, but she's not going to be Captain America. You know, she's her own different thing and she's a variant, all that. Captain America is now Sam. You know, they've established that in the Falcon Winter Soldier show, and he's going to be the new Captain America moving forward. Now, the question is, how much of him are we going to get as Captain America? That is the biggest question, because, you know, they have they did announce right after the Falcon Winter Soldier show ended that, Cap, you know, they were going to make Captain America 4 with him and uh, Bucky, so... Uh, him and Winter Soldier, so. I know Sharon Carter is going to be playing a huge role coming up in the MCU as well. Um, I forgot which show they were going to have her part of. Can I think? I think it was Ms. Marvel. I might be wrong. Um, but she's going to be playing a role, a huge role, I guess, in another show coming up or another movie coming up. Um, so. I guess so. We'll have to see how that plays out too. Oops, damn, dropping my fucking pen and shit. All right, guys. Any final questions or anything like that? Uh, just send them in real quick. We'll get to them. I do appreciate everyone who has came in and uh, sent in. Uh, comments and everything so that way we had something to talk about and I you know appreciate y'all's uh, input on everything I uh, like to see you know how everybody feels about the same things I'm watching and you know because you might see something different than I seen you know that, that's why we everybody you know we all review you know everybody reviews or um, gets on YouTube and talks about you know this is stuff that we like and we talk about so I like hearing everybody else's opinions because, like I said, you might have a different opinion than I do, but you might like something or or see something different in the episode that I didn't see, and then I had to then I felt like I had to go rewatch it, kind of like what I did with Suicide Squad, um, how I didn't like it really the first time I watched it, and then I turned around and the second time I watched it, I liked it. So, um, and if you haven't already seen, uh, go check out my um, new updated. Um, DC, DCU uh, top ten. Um, you're just joining the stream, but I mean, just send in a chat. Let's, you know, we got a few more minutes left. I'd like to get uh, what y'all's opinions are. If y'all have any questions or anything like that, um, just send it in, and we'll go over it real quick. Sorry, dehydrated. A lot of talking, <clears throat> but. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to the second episode. I'm about to go watch Stargirl, I think, right now. Or Superman. I haven't decided. I'm going to have to probably flip a coin. Because I sure as fuck don't know which one I'm watching. Uh, hey, heading to Megacon this Friday. So, if you guys are in the Florida area and you go to Megacon, I'll be there. So... Um, Andrew does send in something. T'Challa as Star Lord will be Chadwick's last time as him. Let's make it count. And that's I would look. I'm definitely looking forward to that just to hear Chadwick Boseman one more time, um, and see him as that. You know, he'll be a different type. Of, he'll be a different character, but um, just to hear you know hear him. Um, I think that would be a good episode, and it'd definitely be one to watch. Definitely. Um, seeing him as Star Lord will be definitely fucking different instead of Black Panther. So, um, you know he 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 is Black Panther, and no doubt. Uh, Red Super says Hawkeye does look good, but as twenty, but as twenty twenty two, 
Moon Knight is the one MC, MCU show I'm looking forward to, especially the first live action of Moon Knight. That was the show that Peggy Carter is going to be in. Thank you, Red Supra. You reminded me very much of that. That is what I've seen on um, my news feeds about. She will be actually reprising her role as Peggy Carter um, in that, that from uh, Falcon Winter Soldier. So I wonder what, how she's going to play. I am actually interested in Moon Knight as well. I, I thought, I've always thought the character would look neat, um, look, looked cool. So I'm kind of curious to see how that one plays out. Um, and I can't think of the actor's name right off the top of my head. I know I think it's Isaac. Um, Isaac's the guy that is playing Moon Knight, so I'm, I'm interested in to see how that goes. I'm actually kind of interested in even in She-Hulk, and I'm not a big, you know, I'm not a big fan of these fucking characters that are coming out uh, with their own shows, but yet I can't wait for them because I want to see the progression of how this goes. Because I'll, I'll be honest with you, I had no fucking, I was not looking forward to One Division. I wasn't looking forward to Loki. I was like, I ain't watching this shit. But yet, I'm sitting right there every fucking week waiting, you know, at lunch, watching WandaVision, watching Captain Falcon Winter Soldier. That one I look forward to. But And then I could not believe how much Loki, I was not looking forward to Loki. And I watched Loki and enjoyed it. So, these live action shows are kicking ass. And, in, and they're getting people really, really want to watch them. So, that's why I said... I'm looking forward to Hawkeye. I like the two actresses that are already in this movie. I like Jeremy Renner as Hawkeye. So I'm curious to see where this goes. And it would be awesome if they could bring back Taskmaster in that fucking show too. Um, and do it right. But that's just... Uh, Andrew says, I think Killmonger saving Tony Stark from the bomb makes a huge impact on that timeline because no Tony going to the cave, he never learns... Humility, no Iron Man, no or no Avengers. Um, yeah, so that's that's going to be interesting because I think that episode has Killmonger. He needs Tony to help him to overthrow um, T'Challa. I think that's what happens in that episode. He helps him build build him a suit or something. That's what I understood. Or gives him certain time, type of technology, which is kind of weird because you, you, you would think Wakanda has better technology. But I guess, you know, he was never in Wakanda to begin with. He was, you know, um, Killmonger was not part of that. So I guess he don't have that kind of technology. So he needs the best that is outside of Wakanda to go in and take over Wakanda. So it makes sense, I guess, in a way. Um all right, guys, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I am going to shut it down. Um, I do appreciate you all coming in, talking to me, um, sending in comments. Uh, the Super Chat from Android, thank you very much, sir. Um, and then until next time, guys, that has been a movie buzzer on What If. Later.